Bob Guerin here. I get asked all the time what kind of supplements I take, what I recommend, and that, that's good out there. What people should take, you know, for you know, uh, everyday basis or um, post workout, pre workout, things like that. So let me show you exactly what I take, and you know, you can you can see for yourself. Now these things I'm about to show you are supplements I take all the time, every single day. And then there's some that I'll show you I take on a weekly basis that are just structured around my workouts. So the first one, I will never live without taking probiotics. If there's one supplement that you'll take and nothing else, this is it. And I, take, I will take this for the rest of my life. Not necessarily this brand, however, this brand is amazing. It's the Garden of Life brand, um, formulated and, and um, owned by uh, Jordan Rubin, Dr. Jordan Rubin. And this is 100% raw and organic and plant-based. So this actual brand, I like. It responds very well to my body. It's non-dairy, which is awesome. They actually use um, human-based probiotics versus soy-based, which is what other products sometimes can use. So that's why I like this one. But it's friendly bacteria, helps benefit and increase the gut flora and helps with digestion, helps with overall immunity as well. And with the, the different stress loads in our lives, work, family, um, possibly school, if you go to school, um, your workouts for sure, this really helps because your gut flora gets depleted when you have certain stresses. So this helps. Also uh, nutrition, if your nutrition is not up to par, or even if it is just some people just don't have uh, enough gut flora, this helps. I take it every day. Next one is my omega-3, 6, and 9. Now, I eat mostly plant-based. I probably eat, give or take, 90 to 95% plant-based. And of that, most of that, probably at least 80 to 85% of it being raw plant-based foods. So this is a plant-based omega complex. Three, six, and nine. So those fatty acids are healthy for you, and I I would definitely recommend this. I don't like taking the fish oils because you don't know where the source of the fish came from in mo most places, um, so they can have some toxins in there. This is all plant-based fats. And then I use this one. This is from Mike Mahler, who is also a kettlebell guru. It's aggressive strength testosterone booster only for men. Women do not take this at all unless you want to have, uh, you know, get get some nice ripped pecs and biceps like us and get a, a hairy chest. Ugh, no, we don't want that. Um, but this is for men. It increases testosterone, balances testosterone, uses your free testosterone because some other testosterone boosters out there actually will make you feel like your testosterone is boosted only because your estrogen is increased and you don't realize it, but it, it makes you feel um, a little bit more um, on edge and, and, and jacked up for a short time just because that hormone is increased and you're feeling it that way. But this uses your free testosterone in your, your uh, testicles and allows your body to actually absorb it and, and, um, and use it essentially, um, where the other ones do not. And I've definitely seen good results with this. Um, I've leaned out and I've definitely seen um, some, some muscle increase as well. My weight has pretty much stayed the same, but I've probably dropped um, a good 3 to 5% body fat. I have to check it uh, now, but since the last time I checked it, it was a give or take 3%. You take this about four weeks on, two weeks off, or eight weeks on and four weeks off. So a two to one ratio. Next one is... Quercetin. Quercetin is a bioflavonoid and it's something that is an antihistamine as well. So that's why I take this. I take it because of any kind of allergies, um, you know, sinus or, or congestion, anything like that. This is awesome for that. And I just take two to three of them and boom, it's done. It's also water soluble. So you don't need to take the Claritin and the, and the Allegra and junk like that. That is also toxic and contains gluten in it. This does not. And this will, will be in and out of your system and be functional in your system within 30 minutes or faster. Well, this next product is white willow bark. Now I take this every day because I usually am hurting every day 
from a workout of some sort, either being sore or like uh, Monday's workout, so today being a Wednesday, Monday's workout, I, I kick my, the living crap out of myself and my lower back is screaming at me. I've been having ice pack rotation duty going, but this stuff works. Now, I take this in place of su such products like aspirin or ibuprofen or, or um, Aleve, things like that, because those products only put a Band-Aid on a broken arm, and they don't really do anything to, to fix the problem, and they make you feel good, but again, the problem is not fixed. You might go out and do something else, or you might think that you're feeling fine and re-injure yourself or, or have a deeper injury. White Willow Bark started because... It, it actually it, it predates aspirin and you're you're going to have the same effects of aspirin anti-inflammatory wise but it's much safer on the body it, it is all natural white willow bark actually does come from uh, plants from trees and the property in itself much like herbs is going to be better used in your system and not leaving any anything behind such as um, the toxins and, and gluten that are in most of the other products that the fillers and, and junk that you can get from ibuprofen. This helps with reducing the inflammation in your body, but also resetting your inflammatory response because your body is going to be healing itself. So it's not just a band-aid on a broken arm, but it actually helps heal it. So that's why I go to this one. And I take two to three a couple times a day on the days that I feel it the worst. And the days that I feel fine, just for maintenance, kind of like you know, your doctor tells you to take a baby aspirin, I just take two in the morning. That's it. And then every night, as I <laughs> drop it almost, um, every night I take, oh, I got the wrong. I wonder why it tasted different yesterday. This is not what I use, but... <laughs> I actually, the bottle looks exactly the same. I actually use the tart ter cherry juice, tart cherry juice, um, and this is pomegranate, as you can read. I sent my wife to uh, a fruitful yield health store, health food store, to to get the cherry juice. And I, I'm not kidding you. The bottle looks identical, except in the middle, it's got a cherry that's still very red. Obviously, cherries are red, and it says tart cherry at the bottom. But Fast Fruit is the company. Brownwood Acres it makes that. Um, so I'm just showing you the bottle just so you can see what it looks like. But tart cherry juice helps rid um, the toxins and, and the acids out of your body that makes you sore. Sometimes you're going to feel sore lingering for a couple days and the tart cherry juice will help make that, uh, that rapid recovery even faster uh, probably in about half the time. So I take it at night because it also contains a natural source of melatonin which helps you sleep. It's a, it's a, a hormone that basically is your your uh, sleep clock so it helps you fall asleep helps you have a more restful sleep while doing so it's going to be removing those acids so i definitely take that pomegranate juice i'm sure has good properties to it i'll be honest with you i actually don't know what pomegranate juice does i know pomegranates granites are awesome and they have a lot of antioxidants but i don't know why you would take this but as you can see it's very thick it's syrupy it's the concentrate I just put it in a shot glass. In fact, I'll show you my shot glass. I don't want to show you my sink because it's very dirty right now. Um, but I use a Tough Mudder because I ran a Tough Mudder. Got this there. I put it in the shot glass, down the hatch before I go to bed, and probably about a half an hour before I go to bed, and you're out. You're sleeping like a baby. It is awesome. The last two I'm going to show you are performance based. So this one right here is by Vega Sport. I love Vega Sport. It's a company um, by Brent, Brendan Brazier, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, he's an ultra um, endurance athlete and, and a many time Ironman um, athlete winner as well. And his product line is all plant based. And as I mentioned before, I eat plant based. So this works out just great. It's this one happens to be the sugar-free item, but there's stevia in there. And this is what I take about 20 to 30 minutes prior to a workout, and it really gets you jacked and ready for the workout. You have a lot of energy. I don't eat before strength workout, strength training workouts. This really helps. And I, I depending on my endurance workout sessions, such as uh, long bike rides, and my, my short bike ride, just to give you an idea, a short day is pro a short se session. I 
can't seem to not drop this pomegranate juice. It knows it's not supposed to be in my refrigerator. Cherry juice instead. Um, but the my, my short rides are um, about 20 to 30 miles when I do biking. When I go running, my, my short days are probably, uh, lately it's been five miles, three to five miles minimum. So this really helps and fuel is going to make you have a better session. Speaking of fuel, this is directly fuel. Now this is a gel. There's a lot of gels that I'm sure you've seen on the market, such as like the, um, the power bar type gels and, and I think even Nike has a gel now. There's a lot of gels and they have a lot of crap in there. Multide maltodextrin, they've got uh, corn syrup in there and maltodextrin also comes from corn by the way. They've got a lot of crap and some of them I've actually seen half sugar. This is not. This is the ingredients are, here we go, dates, filtered water, and then the main energy source, grape juice, natural rice dextrins, sorghum, malt, which is just like a, a, a root. Um, it's got calcium, vitamin C, magnesium, potassium, so it's got electrolytes. Zinc, copper, selenium, so it's got some minerals, chromium, coconut oil, which is awesome, multi, oh, I'm sorry, medium chain fatty acid, gives you really good energy, and then just whatever the flavor is, so this one happens to be raspberry. There's also an orange one. So that is what I use before my endurance events, and I take that um, every 45 minutes, it says, so depending on how I feel, I definitely take it about 20 minutes before my um my session that is endurance based and then depending on how long it goes or what I'm doing then I'll take it about every 45 minutes give or take every hour give or take from there so when I rode my century bike ride which is 100 miles I probably had about four of those over the, the course of the time um, and I also brought some other food items to have during that for fuel too but on a general day on a general training session I just take those two items most of the time for strength I only take the the pre-energizer that that's pretty much the only thing I take and then I'll have my my smoothie which you can see in another one of my videos um, I have that post workout so those are my supplements as you see I don't take a multivitamin the closest thing I do get to a multivitamin and I'll show you let's see where are we at right here this is green superfood packed with a lot of nutrients we don't even have time to go through them I mean, there's, there's a, a green superfood blend. There's tons of things in there. There's an Amazon chocolate blend because I love chocolate. Um, sea vegetables blend, high auric superfruit blend, which has, um, you know, like acai and uh, isarola. Uh, there's dairy-free probiotics. There are a lot of things in there. So I definitely recommend it in case you didn't see it. Front side. They've got a couple different flavors. So if you don't like chocolate, how can you not like chocolate? But if you don't, there's other different flavors. And it has a lot of good nutrients in there. I take that in the morning too. I actually mix that with my pre-energizer from Vegas Sport. So I mix these two together before a workout. Makes an awesome, I just mix it with water. Those two items, that's it. Just one serving of each. Mix it with water, down the hatch, and I'm ready for a workout. On a non-workout day, which there's only two of those days a week, I just mix the the green, the Amazon chocolate, the greens um, blend, superfood. I mix that with water by itself, just one serving down the hatch in the morning with those other supplements I mentioned, and I start my day. So if you have any questions on any of these supplements or anything else, let me know. And just be careful what you buy out there, because like I mentioned, there are gluten items. There's gluten in items, um, and, and it's hidden in there. A lot of times the binders and fillers, they have it in there. So if you're trying to be gluten-free with your foods, there's a chance your multivitamin has gluten in it. And that can disrupt the same digestive system and cause inflammatory issues and, and other issues um, that, that just by eating a wheat product can cause. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want me to give you my analysis of your, your product, I would love to do that for you. Have an awesome day.